The County of Waldeck, later the Principality of Waldeck and Principality of Waldeck and Piermont, was a state of the Holy Roman Empire and its successors from the late 12th century until 1929. In 1349 the county gained imperial immediacy and in 1712 was raised to the rank of principality. After the dissolution of the Holy Roman Empire in 1806 it was a constituent state of its successors, the Confederation of the Rhine, the German Confederation, the North German Confederation, the German Empire and, until 1929, the Weimar Republic. It comprised territories in present-day Hesse and Lower Saxony, Germany. History Waldeck was a county within the Holy Roman Empire from about 1200. Its counts included Adolf II of Waldeck from 1270 to 1276. In 1655, its seat and the chief residence of its rulers shifted from the castle and small town of Waldeck, overlooking the Eder River and first mentioned in 1120, to Arolson. In 1625, the small county of Piermont became part of the county through inheritance. In January 1712, the Count of Waldeck and Piermont was elevated to prince by Charles VI, Holy Roman Emperor. For a brief period, 1805–1812, Piermont was a separate principality as a result of inheritance and partition after the death of the previous prince, but the two parts were united again in 1812. The independence of the Principality was confirmed in 1815 by the Congress of Vienna, and Waldeck and Piermont became a member of the German Confederation. From 1868 onward, the Principality was administered by Prussia, but retained its legislative sovereignty. Prussian administration served to reduce administrative costs for the small state and was based on a 10-year contract that was repeatedly renewed until Waldeck was formally absorbed into the Prussian province of Hesse-Nassau in 1929. In 1871, the principality became a constituent state of the new German Empire. In 1905, Waldeck and Piermont had an area of 1,121 square kilometres and a population of 59,000. At the end of World War I, and during the German Revolution, resulting in the fall of all the German monarchies, the prince abdicated and Waldeck and Piermont became a free state within the Weimar Republic. The princely house of Waldeck and Piermont is closely related to the royal family of the Netherlands. The last ruling prince, Frederick, was the brother of Queen Consort Emma of the Netherlands. <laughs> Gallery of castles Topic: Rulers of Waldeck and Piermont. Topic: Reigning princes 1712 to 1918. Topic. Non-reigning princes since 1918 and others in line of succession. Topic: Military. 
Waldeck had raised a battalion of infantry in 1681 but for much of the subsequent history leading up to the Napoleonic Wars, Waldeckers generally served as mercenaries actually hired out by the rulers of Waldeck in foreign service. Such was the demand that the single battalion became two in 1740 the first regiment, three battalions in 1744, four in 1767 forming a second regiment and in 1776 a third regiment fifth and sixth battalions was raised. Most notably the foreign service was with the Dutch the 1st and 2nd regiments and English the 3rd regiment the latter using them to suppress rebellions in the colonies the 3rd Waldeck Regiment thus served during the American War of Independence, where they were known under the umbrella term used during that conflict for all Germans Hessians the regiment was captured by the Americans and only a small number returned to Germany, where some formed part of a newly raised 5th Battalion 1784. By the time of Napoleon's conquest of Germany, the Waldeck regiments in Dutch service had been dissolved when, as the Batavian Republic, Holland was made into a kingdom ruled by Napoleon's brother Louis. Reduced to battalion strength, they now formed the 3rd Battalions of the 1st and 2nd Infantry Regiments of the Kingdom of Holland. The 5th Battalion was disbanded, and Waldeck was now also obliged to provide two companies to the 2 Battalion, 6th German Confederation i.e., Confederation of the Rhine Regiment along with two companies from Rieu in the service of the French Empire. As with all French infantry, they were referred to as Fusiliers. They served mainly in the Peninsular War against the Duke of Wellington. In 1812, the 6th Confederation Regiment was reformed, with three companies from Waldeck and one from Ryu again forming the 2 Battalion. By the time of the downfall of the French Empire in 1814 the battalions in Dutch service had disappeared, but Waldeck now supplied three infantry and one Jaeger companies to the newly formed German Confederation. By 1866, the Waldeck contingent was styled Firstlicher's Waldeckers Fusilier Bataillon, and in the Austro-Prussian War of that year Waldeck already in a military convention with Prussia from 1862 allied with the Prussians, however the battalion saw no action. Joining the North German Confederation after 1867, under Prussian leadership, the Waldeck Fusilier Battalion became the 3 Fusilier Battalion of the Prussian Infantry Regiment von Wittich, 3rd Electoral Hessian, number no. 83, and as such it remained until 1918. The position of regimental chef, an honorary title, was held by the Prince of Waldeck and Piermont. Unlike Hesse Darmstadt, Hesse Castle or Hesse Castle retained no distinctions to differentiate them from the Prussian. The Waldeckers, however, were permitted the distinction of carrying the cockade of Waldeck on the Pickelaub. The Waldeck Battalion was garrisoned, at various times, at Arolsen, Mengeringhausen, Helsen, Bad Wildingen, Bad Piermont and Warburg. The regiment saw action in the Franco-Prussian War of 1870, where it acquired the nickname Das Eisen Regiment, and during the First World War—as part of the 22nd Division, fought mainly on the Eastern Front. See also 
Arolson Castle Line of succession to the former throne of Waldeck and Piermont. <laughs>